Hey everyone and welcome to the channel today and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some concerns I have regarding Mario Strikers. I do apologise in advance as sort of a more unscripted video but I just wanted to get some of my thoughts across about the game in general. So we've had a few trailers regarding Mario Strikers Battle League and there's one thing that I really wanted to cover in this video and that's missing content. Now. I've seen all the memes online, I've seen all the news circulating around the new overview trailer and etc. Uh, the one glaring thing to me that's missing from the game are characters. And obviously a big one being Daisy. Daisy's not in the game at all from what we can see. Um, from what we can see as well she won't be there at launch. A lot of people are speculating they'll do what they did with um, Mario Tennis and Mario Golf where they add characters sort of post launch. Um, I imagine Daisy would be the first to be added as most people have seen. I'm sure, sure Nintendo have seen sort of the backlash because a lot of people have been complaining of this uh, on social media regarding Daisy specifically amongst other characters as well as it's not just Daisy we are missing, we're missing other fan favourite characters such as Diddy Kong, Petey Piranha etc and it's just it's a weird one. I don't even know because in the original uh, Mario Strikers games you actually had a team captain and then obviously other players so for example you'd have Donkey Kong and then you could choose uh, for the rest of the uh, you'd have Donkey Kong as the captain then for the rest of the team you could choose say Koopa Trooper, Boo, Dry Bones, Monty Mole etc but for this game obviously it has more of a focus on the team so for this game there's no team captain there's essentially you just have characters that you put on a team and play which makes it more simplistic makes it more for the casual audience but i feel like it does lose that competitive edge uh, one thing that i loved about uh, strikers charged was sort of the intro animations where it would play that character specific theme obviously the team would be solely themed around that character each character had their own emblem um gear etc and it's just it, it's kind of sad not to, to see it not return here Obviously there's more of a focus on customization and cosmetics which is fine but as you can see we don't have Daisy, we don't have Diddy Kong, we don't have PT Piranha. Hopefully these characters get added post launch as I feel like that would be a massively missed opportunity from Nintendo if this just wasn't done. Daisy for me is a staple of Mario sports games and Mario spin-offs. Say for example Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf etc. Um, if Daisy's not added then it's a bit shocking, uh, she's been in every single game and then obviously I, I also just wanted to go over a few more characters that I I'd like to see added, a really big one that Nintendo has sort of been pushing in Mario Golf and Mario Tennis recently and obviously Mario Kart Tour as well is Pauline from Mario Odyssey and obviously the original Donkey Kong but um, yeah I'd love to see Pauline, she's a great character and um, I just really want to see what they, what they can do with her in terms of Mario Strikers. Um, obviously, I'd love to see Diddy Kong, Petey Piranha. I'd love to see Funky Kong as well. I feel like oh, I, I love Funky Kong. Um, obviously, probably one of the best unlockable characters in Mario Kart, in my opinion. So, uh, I'd love to see Funky Kong added. Uh, in terms of other characters, maybe I don't know. I'm just I'm just I'm just spitballing some ideas here. Maybe Professor E. Gad, something like that. But um, another thing as well is. In this game there's a sort of focus on the customizable stadiums, you have two halves that we've seen in the new overview trailer and you can essentially put two different stadiums together, say for example you could have like a Mushroom Kingdom and then a Bowser's Castle, uh, both being two halves of the pitch. Um, that's great, I actually love this idea, I really like this idea, I said this in sort of my uh, new details and overview video which you can watch by clicking on the screen right now or going to the description. but. I feel like one thing that I said that I wanted in the game, uh, one of my most requested features was returning stadiums. Um, strikers on the Wii included stadiums from um, the original Strikers on the GameCube, I'm pretty sure it included every single stadium that was added, but for me I just really want one or two, even, even if it's just one at this point, something like the classroom or the main stadium from the original Mario Strikers, I feel like that would just be a really nice touch. I don't know how that would fit into the whole customization um, sort of aspect where you pick half of a half of a stadium and pick that, but I just think I just think it would be nice, even if it was its own separate mode or separate thing where you got to you got to select a previous stadium, or maybe they did like a DLC update where they bring back three or four different stadiums from the old games. I think that would be awesome because I think. 
Uh, one thing that I really liked from the old stadiums is the they each had their own gimmick. For example, you had, I can't remember, I think it was Thunder Island, I think it was the name where it had like sort of tornadoes on the pitch, it had a storm that would sweep players away, players could actually get knocked off the pitch completely and it would, if your team captain was gone then it made the game very difficult and things like that and it's just I really love the individual gimmicks but that seems to now be gone from what I can see but I think that's the, the one thing that concerns me the most about Mario Strikers Battle League is just it's it sort of lost that individuality. It, it seems like a very casual, bare bones experience. Uh, something that I'd compare to with Mario uh, Tennis Ultra Smash on the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, that game was very bare bones, very sort of very safe. Whereas I feel like Battle League it isn't as vanilla, it isn't as boring as that game, isn't as simplistic but still it needs a lot of work I feel like it just needs that something it needs that something extra I think maybe a, a story mode of some kind maybe a I don't know like a classic mode where you get to see characters with sort of maybe storyboard cutscenes before like each character has their own um, I don't know not not story mode necessarily but maybe like a Again, like not not a full on adventure mode, but perhaps each character has their own set of other characters they have to play in teams, and then you you win something, maybe like a new piece of unlockable gear or something like that, or maybe a customization uh, item for the stadium, something like that to show that you've done it. But um, yeah, I'm just I am a bit concerned about this game. I feel like it is going to be very safe, very boring, but. I really hope not because for me Mario Strikers Charge Football on the Wii was just a really underrated game. It's really good. If you guys haven't played it, um, either if you want to play it through uh, the legitimate means or let's just say unlegitimate means on a PC perhaps. But um, honestly play it. It's one of my favourite Wii games and it's just, it's just brilliant. It, it's completely... It's completely unique in its theming and the things that it includes in the game. It's just a really fun game as well, but anyway guys, what do you think about Mario Strikers Battle League? I've sort of rambled on enough and as you can see, I am concerned for the game, but what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments, are you concerned for Mario Strikers Battle League? Do you think it's too simplistic or do you think it's added enough and are you really excited to play it? Because I will be playing it, I will be making content on it and Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, as I said, give me feedback in the comments, uh, check out the rest of my channel for more Nintendo content and gaming content in general, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.